previously in the Pink Room of Doom. So I'm a huge Jared James Nichols fan. I love the dude. I love his Instagram, um, love his music. So obviously he has his two Epiphone models. He has his Old Glory, which is the ebony one, and his Gold Glory, which is his double gold, which is a great example of what I'm talking about is the plain prowess of none other than Jared James Nichols. That's right, I'm talking about Jared James Nichols again in connection with P90 pickups. How original. The Old Glory and Gold Glory Les Pauls, both of which are fantastic guitars. Buy a Jared James Nichols Epiphone. For the love of God, buy a Jared James Nichols Epiphone. They are so good. So Jared James Nichols is not a name that's unfamiliar to this channel as you saw from those previous clips. I've talked about him a lot for good reason. I think he's a great guitar player. I put him on the list of those people that you call the guitar player's guitar player. His attitude and everything towards music and the guitar is just so infectious and it certainly got me. So going on to the point of this video, the guitar. With the recently released news and some of the teasers from his Instagram and his newest album, you may have noticed that he is releasing another signature model with Epiphone. In fact, it's right here. This is the new JJN Les Paul Custom in Pelham Blue, and it looks absolutely stunning. So this will pair, obviously, with his other two signatures that he has with Epiphone, the Old Glory and the Gold Glory. So after I saw this news, much like when the other two guitars came out, I got super excited for it. And I got to thinking, I'm like, you know what? I got so excited for those other two guitars to come out, but I've never owned one of them. But I'm making it a goal to own the Pelham Blue one because I absolutely love it. But I wanted to take it a step further and still acquire the other two. And what better place to start than from the beginning? So I found this used for a great price, mind you. So I picked it up. So let's go ahead and talk about the Epiphone JJN Old Glory Les Paul. This video is sponsored by me and my Teespring store. Some of you may know that I did a soft rebranding of the channel recently, which just means that I updated my logo. But with an updated logo comes updated merch. So I went and updated my merch. It's still all the same great products that you can expect from Teespring's shirts, hats, stickers, bags, all kind of good stuff, all just with my new logo on it. The products all come in a myriad of different colors. There's a link in the description. Every single purchase that I get through my Teespring store goes right back into the channel to help bring you guys great content. So what are you waiting for? If you want to support the channel in any other way besides just subscribing and liking the video, all that good YouTube stuff, make sure you check out the link in the description to my Teespring store. I really, really appreciate it. Now, back to the video. 
It's the old Epiphone headstock design. This is before they went and started doing the Inspired by Gibson stuff. It's got the diamond right there showing that it is a custom. It's got a plastic nut. You flip over to the back. This is where you're gonna start to see some uniqueness. It's got this beautiful white kind of cream stinger on it. Looks great. Got his signature right there. Grover tuners. Obviously tuning stability is gonna be top notch. Working our way down to the neck, this is where it's gonna throw a lot of people off. It's the thickness of the neck. It's a mahogany neck and it's like that super chunky vintage. I mean, it fills your hand out. It's a baseball neck. I know I say that a lot and a lot of people kind of use that, but I mean, this thing really is one of the thickest necks I've ever played. And if you're not new to the channel, you know that I like a big, thick, chunky woman. <coughs> I mean, big, thick, chunky necks. Uh, and this one certainly fits the bill and is super duper comfortable for me. It's got an ebony board on it, block inlays, but they stop down here at the 12th fret because when you go past it, you don't have any inlays. A lot of people don't like that. I for one love it. 22 frets, 24 and three quarter inch scale length. So it's standard Les Paul kind of stuff through and through with obviously some other appointments done to it. It's a double bound neck. It's got the uh, aged gloss finish is what they're calling it on the back of the neck as is the rest of the body. And we'll get to that in just a second. To me, it's almost like it's Epiphone's version of like nitrocellulose. I don't know. Either way, it feels absolutely fantastic. In fact, I kind of want to say that they're finishing the uh, 59 standards that Epiphone have done recently in the Inspired by Gibson collection. I think they finished them in the aged gloss to make it look more like nitrocellulose. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Let's move down to the body where you're gonna to start to see more JJ and appointments here. So he wanted this to be like a Frankenstein between a custom and a junior. And I think they did it beautifully. He obviously has like a Gibson custom that he did stuff like this too. And that's what inspired Old Glory. So let's talk about this more. Mahogany body, full thickness. I mean, this thing weighs a, a good bit. It's not super duper heavy, but I mean, it's you pick it up and know it's a real Les Paul through and through. It's got the binding around the body, double binding, mind you. Again, finished in the aged gloss finish. You have a single Seymour Duncan P90, which was a big selling point for these two uh, because people obviously love their Seymour Duncan pickups. You have a lightning wrap around tailpiece here. So you wrap it through here, wraps around, goes up just like a junior would be. One volume, one tone, but if you take the cover off the back here, it's actually routed like a standard Les Paul would be. So if you wanted to add more switches or pots or whatever, you could totally do that. And one other thing that people didn't really like was the Blues Power plaque down here that was drilled into the body. I don't mind it. I actually really, really like it. I mean, it's, it's just kind of cool. And you could always take it off if you wanted to. I mean, you would have two screw holes here, but to me, it's no different than if you had a pit guard on there and you took the pit guard off and you had the two screw holes that were on there either way. So, and according to Trogly, and I'm probably gonna mess this up, the reason that they did this is because it's kind of a throwback to when people would change the bridges out and they just needed something to cover up all of this down here. So they would usually put one that said custom made on there. That's where this came from. Anyway, go watch Trogly's video on this and he'll kind of tell you more about it. But that's just a really quick rundown of the specs of this thing it's an amazing amazing guitar if you're fortunate enough to find one of these used you may also get the certificate of authenticity in this nice little kind of i guess faux leather kind of little information packet here so you get you know limited edition jared james nichols old glory Les paul custom or whichever one you buy you get a nice picture of the man himself signature here serial number just really really cool to have you also get these stupidly nice Epiphone epi light case that comes with it. So uh, that's an added bonus as well. This is a really, really nice case. So just some final thoughts on this guitar. It's an amazing guitar. And just flat out, there's not really much more I can say about it. It's a great instrument. You have to like thick necks. You have to like P90 pickups. You have to like single pickup guitars and kind of know what you're doing with the volume and tone to get the most out of it. But if you kind of want to explore any of those options or all of them together, just to kind of get it all out of the way, I implore you to try to find one of these. If you, even if you can just find it in a guitar center or something, pick it up, at least give it a shot. These things are awesome, awesome guitars. If you want something that's in the realm of this uh, from Epiphone, but you want like two humbuckers, more of like a standard, like I mentioned earlier, check out the 59 standards from the Inspired by Gibson range. 
those are really really nice guitars as well they're kind of finished the same way but they're more standard appointments so you won't get like the uh, block inlays and the custom diamond up there and like I said it'll be more like a regular Les Paul but hey there's that I promise you I'm gonna have the entire trifecta at some point uh, I'm anxiously awaiting the Pelham blue one to come out I hope you are too because it looks like it's gonna be great that one's got a signature Seymour Duncan pickup in it. So uh, Jared James Nichols worked with Seymour Duncan to get a signature pickup. That's kind of cool. Can't wait to check that out sometime around November when they come out. If you like the video, please make sure you like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Really, really helps me out. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about these guitars if you got one and you play it regularly or whatever. If you don't like it, let me know. I love reading comments, positive, negative, whatever. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, I'll catch you around soon.